So we need to take this message seriously and pray. Amen. On the 5th of March 2017, during a Sunday service at Divine Kingdom Baptist Ministries, the servant of God, Pastor Ian Love, gave a prophetic message, urging saints and intercessors the world over to pray for a prominent person in Zimbabwe with the initials E.M. These were his words. Number four, E.M. Say E.M are the initials of someone in Zimbabwe who has distinguished himself in his field of occupation and calling. They took me in the vision and I saw enemies of this person sharpen their tankers. But the Lord says this person needs our prayers. Say this person needs our prayers. Because the Lord has spoken. This person, according to God, not according to man, he has got more to contribute to the weak, underprivileged, poor, the forgotten, and the lay person in the street. This is a person who has got a lot to contribute. But the enemies of this person, I saw them in a vision, sharpening their attackers. A attacker is a knife. Sharpening attackers, several of his enemies. And the Holy Spirit is saying we must pray for this man so that he is able to execute his divine mission. Now On the 24th of July 2016, during a Sunday service at Divine Kingdom Baptist Ministries, the servant of God, Pastor Ian Law, gave a prophetic message about a member of a triumvirate that will be humiliated. He urged the saints and intercessors to pray. These were his words. I saw a triumvirate. You know a triumvirate? This is a big English word, which means people who operate as a leadership pay three. It's called a triumvirate. A triumvirate is people who exercise authority of rulership as a grouping of three people. I saw in a triumvirate one member of the triumvirate being humiliated. I will not say the country because it's a very sensitive message. I saw one member of the triumvirate being humiliated in the near future. Let us watch and pray. Hallelujah. It's a triumvirate. I saw one of the members in the triumvirate being humiliated in the near future. And it may lead to instability in that nation. It may cause instability for a season and a time. Hallelujah. For a season and a what? And a time. There might be instability because this member of the triumvirate who will be humiliated has got followers. A lot of them. So I saw a member of the triumvirate. A triumvirate, it means you have got the primus inter pares. I'm speaking in, Sp in, in Latin. The primus inter pares is is the first among the equals within the triumvirate. These triumvirates, sometimes they are called presidiums. In Zimbabwe, they are called presidiums. It's called a presidium. Hallelujah. A triumvirate, where you have got three people who are exercising authority of rulership over other people. You will be having a primus inter pares, from, from, from which we get the word prime minister. A primus inter pares, the one who is first among equals. Ordinarily, they will be called the president. And then we have got the, the other equals. I saw a member of the triumvirate being humiliated. It may shake that nation. Let us watch and pray. On the 27th of November 2016, during a Sunday service at Divine Kingdom Baptist Ministries, the servant of God, Pastor Ian Love, gave a prophetic message, urging saints and intercessors to pray for a prominent politician with the name of a famous author. These were his words. I saw a prominent political figure in Zimbabwe. 
with the name of a famous author. A famous author. I saw in the near future this prominent politician suffer serious and long-lasting setback to his career. Let us watch and pray. It's a politician with the name of a very famous author. A lot of people, they are expecting this person to climb to the top of the mountain. But unless those who love him, because there are those who love him in Zimbabwe, unless those who love him fast and pray for him, I saw some pulling him down from the mountain and he was rolling on the mountain. Let us stand up and pray. On the 18th of September 2016, during a Sunday service at Divine Kingdom Baptist Ministries, the servant of God, Pastor Ian Lowe, gave a prophetic message about rapid moves he saw occurring against a member of a triumvirate. These were his words. In a vision of God, I saw rapid moves being made against a member of a triumvirate. This pertains to rulership and authority. This pertains to an African nation. I saw clearly in a vision that these rapid moves against the member of the triumvirate will weaken and ultimately destroy some of the key people in making moves against the triumvirate member. I'll take the message again. In a clear vision of God, I saw rapid moves being made against a member of a triumvirate. This pertains to rulership and authority. This pertains to an African nation. I saw clearly in a vision that these rapid moves against the member of the triumvirate will weaken and ultimately destroy some of the key people in making moves against the triumvirate member. What clearly says such moves will disturb the peace in that nation and may cause those who wish to move against the member of the triumvirate to fight against one another afterwards. The Holy Spirit expressly says they will lose what they have by seeking to gain what that person has with his team. Let us watch and pray for this African nation. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Do you hear what the Spirit is saying to the churches? Do you hear? Say yes. yes. Say yes. yes. Say yes. yes. On the 17th of September 2017, during a Sunday service at Divine Kingdom Baptist Ministries, the servant of God, Pastor Ian Love, gave another prophetic message alerting saints of an east wind that will blow against a triumvirate. These were his words. I see the Holy Spirit says we must pray for the triumvirate in Zimbabwe. Say triumvirate. Yes, it's a, it's a, it's a complicated word, but which means a group of three people who are exercising authority in a particular place. Hallelujah. Say triumvirate. Yes, the Spirit of God is saying we must pray for the triumvirate. I will not specify where this triumvirate is found. The one who has the Spirit of God in them and Christ living in them, the hope of glory, they will know what I'm talking about. I see in a vision an east wind which shall come and shake it, shake the triumvirate. Let us watch and pray. God says the triumvirate will be shaken by an east wind very soon. Until the times and purposes are accomplished upon them and Zimbabwe. We're talking about Zimbabwe. Hallelujah. A triumvirate shall be shaken. And the, you know when this triumvirate is shaken, I see that two members of the triumvirate will fall one after the other. Say one after the other. Yes, that's what I've been shown in the realms of the spirit. And there is no one who can prevent it. Two members of the triumvirate. Hallelujah. That's why I say to this message, 
is linked to the other message, message number two. When they try to uproot this person that I'm likening to a tree, according to message number two, it will cause the other person immediately to fall. That person would have been uprooted. Hallelujah. This is what I've been shown by the Spirit of God. I believe other people who have the Spirit of God and who are in intercessory ministry, they've received the same message. Maybe they would have spoken in their circles or in their fellowships, but we announce these things so that as intercessors, we can pray more accurately. Hallelujah. Amen. So the, an east wind, it's, it's figurative language for a supernatural force which no one can stop. Hallelujah. Because God operates on earth supernatural. And then his operation on earth which is supernatural, it manifests naturally. Hallelujah. Some of his operations, they don't even manifest. You see yourself getting a job. How it is arranged in the realms of the spirit, you don't even see it. You don't even know it. Hallelujah. 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 So the east wind, already it's, blow, it's blowing. Say the east wind is blowing. Against the triumvirate. Yes. And because the east wind is blowing, just stand up. I want three people. Yes. Just to face me. Yeah. Yeah, you can stand in the sand. The east wind is blowing with a force against the triumvirate. And it will scatter them. I want you to move in that direction to come towards me. And yes, they will be scattered. Like what I've just demonstrated. Hallelujah. I don't know. The, I've got a question. I don't know who among the triumvirate will remain. That's the question which I have. Because of the strength of the east wind. Which I saw being sent against the triumvirate. Hallelujah. Let him... Oh, hey, who has the Spirit of God? On the 26th of February 2017, the servant of God, Pastor Ian Love, gave a prophetic message about the next king, describing some of his qualities and urging saints and intercessors to pray for him. These were his words. And then the next message is last year, last year, 2016, in February. The Holy Spirit revealed to me that the person to come after the current king in this nation, we call them kings when we are speaking spiritual language. This person is linked, I'm now speaking figurative language. This person is linked to fortresses, castles, citadels, and strongholds of power and influence in Zimbabwe. I'll repeat that sentence because it's a new detail that God is giving us. This person is linked to fortresses, castles, citadels and strongholds of power and influence in Zimbabwe. And the person is quite educated as well. So we are not talking about a person who is not educated. We are talking about a person who is quite educated as well. The person was there, spiritual language again, the person was there and was among the midwives when the nation was born. So we are not talking about someone, a pep, that wasn't there when the nation was born. This person, this person was there and was among the midwives when the nation was born. Let us watch and pray. I urge by the Holy Spirit to all intercessors, especially in Zimbabwe, to watch and pray for the nation because God's eyes are scanning across the nation. That's what the Holy Spirit told me, that God's eyes are scanning across the nation. On the 30th of July 2017, during a Sunday service at Divine Kingdom Baptist Ministries, the servant of God, Pastor Ian Love, gave a prophetic message stating that he saw those that stay in fortresses occupy the streets, and he also saw a new sheriff. These were his words. And then the next message that I was given, I saw in a vision, those who stay in the fortresses come out like ants to occupy streets where mortar and brick dominate streets. 
and avenues and boulevards where mortar and brick dominate. This they did until conditions of peace were ensured and the new sheriff was securely seated in his seat and was secure in his new position. This pertains to your people for these times that are just are upon us or they are ahead of us. Let us watch and pray. Let us not fear or be dismayed by the things that must take place, that must come to pass. Because the Spirit of God says he is in total control of situations because of his purpose for the nation in question and because of the prayers of the saints. Say God is in total control. Yes, in the land in question, in this place that we are talking about, there is a new sheriff that is being prepared by the Spirit of God. We will just leave it like that. Hallelujah. Zimbabwe and beyond following the resignation of Robert Mugabe as president. Former Vice President Emerson Nagagua earlier on Wednesday arrived back in Zimbabwe from South Africa. He is due to be sworn in on Friday. No word yet on what's next for Robert Mugabe and his wife Grace Mugabe. The 93-year-old ruled Zimbabwe for 37 years. Most in the country have known no other leader aside from him, so they're eager for change. Right, we're getting you live pictures now out of Harare and the ZANU-PF headquarters in the city. Incoming President Emerson Mnagagwa is making his very first address to the public since his return to Zimbabwe. Let's listen in. the prophetic words given by the servant of God reveal the character and the path that the president Emerson Nangakwa was to take in order to get to the top of the mountain. Note the following points from the prophecies. a lot of enemies and would undergo humiliation. President Emerson Nangako underwent serious humiliation when he was attacked in public and was also fired from both the ruling party and government. Number three. I saw a prominent political figure in Zimbabwe 
with the name of a famous author. A famous author. The name of the prominent author is Ralph Waldo Emerson, which matches the name of President Emerson Nanga. Number four. In a vision of God, I saw rapid moves being made against a member of a triumvirate. This pertains to rulership and authority. This pertains to an African nation. I saw clearly in a vision that these rapid moves against the member of the triumvirate will weaken and ultimately destroy some of the key people in making moves against the triumvirate member. The rapid moves against President Emerson Nangakwa weakened those that made moves against him, as it was accurately prophesied by the servant of God, Pastor Ian. Number five. I saw in a vision those who stay in the fortresses come out like ants to occupy streets where mortar and brick dominate streets and avenues and boulevards where mortar and brick dominate. The servant of God stated that he saw those that stay in fortresses come out like ants into the streets. This meant the operation that was to be undertaken by the Zimbabwean Defense Force. there, spirit, spiritual language again. The person was there and was among the midwives when the nation was born. So we're not talking about someone, a, a babe, that wasn't there when the nation was born. This person, this person was there and was among the midwives when the nation was born. Let us watch and pray. President Emerson Nangako is linked to the Zimbabwean army and is one of the first ministers in 1980 when Zimbabwe was being born. He also holds a degree in law from the University of Zambia. Number seven. There is a new sheriff that is being prepared by the Spirit of God. We will just leave it like that. Hallelujah. The servant of God, Pastor Ian Love, so a new sheriff seated, revealing that there will be a new president in the nation of Zimbabwe. All these prophecies reveal the character, identity, and path that was to be taken by the next leader of Zimbabwe, His Excellency, President Emerson Nanga. The servant of God, Pastor Ian Love, and Divine Kingdom Baptist Ministries would like to congratulate His Excellency President Emerson Nangako for being inaugurated the President of the Nation of Zimbabwe. The Servant of God, Pastor Ian Law, still urges saints and intercessors to continue to pray for the unity, peace and prosperity of Zimbabwe. May the Almighty God bless you.